Majoring in Electrical Engineering, Part 1, Engineering Curriculum. So you're thinking about majoring in electrical engineering? Let me tell you what this career is about. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Growing up, I never really had any educational advice. And I wish someone had informed me about all the different classes, universities, and career options out there. Having a guide can really help a person's life. This is why I'm making these videos, in hopes that it can guide you or serve to inform you. So today, I want to share with you my experience and what I know about this career path since I lived through it. I want to target my video at students that are about to graduate high school, just graduated, or are relatively new to a college or university. I will divide the video into three parts. The first part will talk about the typical curriculum. The second part will talk about all the undergraduate classes you have to take and a typical day as an engineering student. The third part will cover career options and senior electives, which can really affect where your career takes you. A link to the second and third part will be in the description below if you're interested. Let's begin. The first and most important part that you must understand is that anyone could be an engineer. Yes, anyone. All you need is to sit down, take a deep breath, and decide on your own if you, that, that you're willing to do it no matter what. If you have that mindset, you can accomplish anything. The second part that you must understand is that your college experience will be different from your non-engineering peers. You will have to put in more hours for homework, studying, and in the labs. The upside is that you, when you finish, you will have real practical knowledge and you have opportunities to actually use the concepts you learned in school. Now to the curriculum. I'm going to divide the curriculum into three sections. The general education classes, the theoretical classes, and the practical classes. The general education classes are classes that all students take. They typically have a large amount of courses you can select and there is a lot of flexibility in these classes. Something to note is that these classes are offered at any community college, so if you want to save some money, I would advise you to take them since they are cheaper and often easier. The second section is the theoretical classes. These classes are the core of engineering. All engineering students take these classes and it is typically where I saw a lot of students change majors. So if you're currently taking these classes and feel discouraged, ju just keep pushing. Classes in this section include Calculus 1, 2, 3, Differential Equations, Linear Algebra, Mechanics, Electromagnetic Theory, Thermodynamics, General Chemistry, and maybe some introductory Engineering courses. Something to note is that some of these classes can actually count for the general education requirements. So if you're not sure, ask your college or your university. This is one of those tips I wish I knew. Finally, we can talk about the third section, the practical courses. This section includes a wide array of classes, including the electrical core and electives depending on your interest. This section separates all engineering disciplines. These are the classes that you will use in your career and often have an accompanying lab course. A lot of students tend to do better in these courses since they are more hands-on and you learn how to design, simulate, build, and test circuits. In my opinion, these courses were the most fun. A lot of the concepts that you learn in the lab classes are actually used in industry. These include instruments, software, and troubleshooting techniques. That's it for this video. If you're interested in knowing about the undergrad life or what you can do with an electrical engineering degree, please check out part two and part three and subscribe for more videos.